Hello, my name is Elena. I'm not a front-end engineer. I'm not even a designer. I'm actually a back-end engineer at Airbnb. So today's demo is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to use Figma's platform API. Recently, as a side hobby, I've been getting more involved with the Ethereum blockchain. I've been working on ethmoji.io. It's a game which allows you to create your own, verifiable, non-fungible token representing an emoji that looks like you. Fungible assets are interchangeable, like money. It doesn't matter if I pay you with this dollar bill or that dollar bill. It's all the same since the value of every dollar bill is the same. Like land or art or collectibles, non-fungible assets are distinguishable. For example, in the physical world, there are many paintings, but not all of them cost the same amount. You can also represent non-fungible assets on the Ethereum blockchain, where a custom token might represent a piece of digital art. Today, I'll show you how to create your own Ethereum token that represents emoji art. We'll do this using a Figma file and Figma's platform API. We'll start with some boilerplate code. This will help us focus on learning about the Figma platform API. If you're interested in Ethereum tokens and how they can store digital art, you can read about that later in the GitHub repo that I'll provide. We'll begin with a very simple node server and some basic UI with some jQuery. Once you run the node server from the repo provided, you should see something like this. Now let's look at Figma's platform API documentation. First, we'll need to get an API key. For this demo, we'll be working with this Figma file. In order for us to make calls to the platform API, we're going to need the file key for this specific Figma file. The file key can be found after the file keyword in the URL. In this case, this is the file key. Great, let's store our Figma API key here for now. We'll need it when we make calls to the API. Let's use it now to get the Figma tree structure of our Figma file. Here we can see that the file has some pages, which are called children, and that the page has a lot of frames and frame sizes and labels. An interesting fact, all Figma IDs have a structure that consists of number, colon, number. The first number represents the session number, starting from zero, when you first create the file. And the second number represents the order of when the node was created in that session. If you see a node with ID 0 colon 1, that represents the first page or canvas of your Figma file. Let's filter out everything we don't care about and just focus on the frames that are square and have a name. Why? Because those are most likely the frames that have our emojis. We'll make a new mapping that just has the IDs and the names of the frames we care about. Now that we have a mapping of all the frame IDs we want to focus on, our next step is to grab the images associated with those specific IDs. Let's revisit the API documentation of how to do that. Now that we have all our images, let's format our response and return it back to the front end. If you're interested in finishing this project and creating some emoji tokens in Ethereum, it requires some additional setup. I've described that in the GitHub repo. That's it for the API portion. Pretty easy, right? Let's review what we did. We used the API to get the tree structure of our Figma file. We extracted the frame IDs that we care about. We used another API endpoint to get the images for those frames. And we put them on our web page canvas. If you have questions about using the Figma API, let our developers know. Submit your questions on stackoverflow.com and be sure to add the Figma API tag. If you create something using the API, let us know on our user forum. 
we have a channel over at spectrum.chat slash figma called show and tell. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this demo.